What if the future of travel could be faster, greener, and more comfortable than ever before? Are you ready to witness a new revolution in high-speed rail connecting cities and countries? German engineering pioneer Siemens is about to unveil its fastest and most advanced high-speed train ever, a breakthrough that promises to set new standards in speed, efficiency, and sustainability. Join us on today's episode of On the Trains to find out what makes this train truly a groundbreaking step into the future. Context. But first, let's look back at why Germany's country is renowned for one of the most advanced, efficient, and environmentally friendly systems in the world. At the heart of this vast network is the Intercity Express, ICE, Deutsche Bahn's flagship high-speed train service. ICE connects most of Germany's major cities, including Berlin, Munich, Frankfurt, Hamburg, and Cologne, and extends its reach to popular European capitals such as Paris, Brussels, Amsterdam, and more. These high-speed trains are capable of reaching impressive speeds of up to 186 miles per hour, offering passengers a fast and reliable alternative to short-haul flights and road trips. Germany's fourth place in rail transport is the result of solid investments in advanced infrastructure technology modern infrastructure, and advanced digital signaling systems. An integral part of this development is the Siemens Velaro platform, a first-class train design synonymous with efficiency and technological advancement in the rail industry. Building on this rich heritage, Siemens launched the Velaro Novo, pushing the boundaries to deliver exceptional performance and passenger comfort. So what makes the Velaro Novo different in today's era of rapid innovation and high passenger expectations? We'll explore deeper in the next section, and if you haven't already, subscribe now to stay up to date with the developments that are shaping the dynamics of the high-speed rail industry. Siemens Velaro Novo The Siemens Velaro Novo high-speed train recently reached an incredible speed of 252 miles per hour. During a major test, the Velaro Novo was conceived with a long-term vision focused on durability, advanced engineering, eco-friendly operation, enhanced passenger comfort, increased reliability, and intelligent systems that streamline and optimize every aspect of the train's performance. To further optimize performance, Siemens has used an innovative lightweight construction method that reduces the overall mass of the train by more than 70 tons. The hull is a lighter than previous Velaro generations, made possible by the use of advanced aluminum panels produced using pedal welding technology. This process allows the use of thinner but stronger materials, distributing weight more efficiently on components such as the inlet steering system while maintaining structural strength and durability. Inside, the Siemens Velaro Novo's hull has been carefully designed with precise proportions, measuring 94 feet 3.89 inches long and featuring a passageway width of 21.06 inches, 0.43 inches wider than the previous generation. The 10% increase in usable passenger space allows for greater freedom of movement in the cabin, significantly improving comfort on both short and long journeys. Soft sound insulation materials and an optimized suspension system work together to minimize noise and vibration, ensuring a smooth and relaxing travel experience, while the carefully designed seating design helps to reduce fatigue on long journeys. Additional passenger-focused features include ergonomic lighting, soundproofing, and a state-of-the-art infotainment system, creating a pleasant and functional onboard environment. Larger panoramic windows complete the design, providing passengers with a stronger connection to the outside landscape and enhancing the overall travel experience. Beyond the dimensions and interior, the Velaro Novo also offers significant improvements at the system level. The permanent magnet motor supports all electric braking under normal operating conditions, saving energy by returning electricity to the grid. Energy efficiency is another key feature of the Velaro Novo. Operating at a typical speed of over 186 miles per hour, the train consumes 30% less energy than previous Velaro models thanks to its lightweight frame and refined aerodynamics. These aerodynamic improvements alone have resulted in a 15% reduction in energy consumption, reduced life cycle costs, and reduced operating emissions. In effect, this translates to a saving of approximately 1,375 tons of CO2 emissions per year, a significant achievement in reducing the environmental impact of high-speed rail travel. Siemens Velaro Novo combines high-speed performance with carbon-neutral technology to show how rail can connect cities and nations more sustainably. It sets a new benchmark for greener infrastructure, pointing toward a smarter and more interconnected future. 
As Europe and Germany expand investments in clean transport, the train plays a key role in cutting travel's environmental impact while enhancing comfort. Its design reflects Siemens' commitment to forward-thinking mobility that unites innovation, responsibility, and passenger satisfaction. Germany has also implemented other overall upgrades to meet passenger demand. Currently, the high-speed rail line is temporarily closed for essential maintenance and optimization, with no official date set for the restoration of service. This pause is crucial for implementing a series of key upgrades and repairs intended to significantly enhance the reliability, safety, and overall performance of the rail infrastructure. Beyond operational benefits, the program safeguards a vital economic artery, ensuring the rail network continues to support regional trade and daily mobility. Comparison. That's the story of the Siemens Velaro Novo in Germany. But what about countries across Europe? In Europe, different countries are adopting different strategies to balance innovation with practical service needs to best serve their particular rail ecosystems. Spain's approach to the Velaro E model, for example, places a primary emphasis on providing a highly reliable and consistent national service. This focus prioritizes broad coverage and operations for the majority of the population, even if that means using slightly less advanced technologies. Spain's strategy focuses on meeting day-to-day -day transport needs, rather than pushing the boundaries of innovation or energy efficiency. Meanwhile, France is taking a different path with its TGVM Avelia Horizon initiative, which aims to dramatically increase passenger capacity by 20% to accommodate its crowded rail network. In addition to focusing on capacity, France is investing heavily in the integration of sophisticated digital systems and energy optimization technologies designed to improve operational efficiency and service quality on one of Europe's busiest corridors. These contrasting approaches illustrate how national priorities shape the development of high-speed rail systems across Europe. Germany, through its Velaro Novo, emphasizes cutting-edge technology combined with environmental responsibility. Spain prioritizes service reliability and broad accessibility, while France focuses on capacity expansion and digital innovation to manage high ridership. Together, these diverse strategies illustrate the different challenges and goals each country faces as it continues to develop and modernize its high-speed rail network to best meet its specific transportation needs and sustainable development goals. In this context, the overwhelmingly positive comments and support for the Velaro Novo project reveal an important consensus. It is not the quality or superiority of the train itself that is the issue. Rather, it is the infrastructure, the track, the signal, and the supporting engineering that truly determines the success and efficiency of the entire high-speed rail network. That's all for today. Hope you have had interesting experiences through this video and see you again in the next episodes.